Hi, my name is Mahek. In this tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to create a cinemagraph using Flixel Cinemagraph Pro for Mac OS. If this is your first time using the app, you're in the right place. But if you're already familiar with it, I would recommend that you check out one of our other tutorials, which are better suited for more advanced users. But for newcomers, welcome. In this installment, I'm going to show you the tools that you'll need, walk you through the entire Cinemagraph creation process, and demonstrate how to export and share your Cinemagraphs on social media, and upload your Cinemagraphs to your Flixel.com gallery. But first, what is a Cinemagraph? Cinemagraphs are an exciting medium that blend photography and video together in amazing new ways. They are composed like a photo and then brought to life with a subtle hint of motion. Cinemagraphs capture your attention, vividly tell your story, and perform incredibly well in digital advertising and on social media. You need three tools to create your cinemagraph. First and foremost, you're going to need a digital camera. We recommend a DSLR that shoots at least high definition quality video to ensure the strongest quality footage for your cinemagraph. Secondly, you're going to need a tripod. Cinemagraphs are based in video footage, and a tripod ensures that the footage you record is perfectly still. Without that stability, you're going to see a clear separation between the photo and video elements of the cinemagraph, which is the exact opposite effect that we're trying to achieve. Finally, you're going to need Flixel Cinemagraph Pro for Mac OS. Cinemagraphs were once perceived as incredibly difficult to make, but now with Cinemagraph Pro, you can create your very own high quality professional living photos in just under five minutes. And now that we have our tools, let's make one. For this tutorial, I created a living room set with two subjects, Aaron on the left and Cassandra on the right. The video I am shooting is composed in such a way that you can see a clear separation between the subjects. When creating a cinemagraph, you want to show that contrast between what's moving and what isn't. Sometimes it can be done subtly, but in this case, we will create one with a more obvious motion that can be easily edited. When thinking about the motion, try to come up with something that can be fluid and continuous so that you can unlock the mesmerizing power of your cinemagraph. Aaron raising his teacup and then moving it back down is a great option. Once you have determined your composition and movement, film about 10 to 15 seconds of video that contains the motion of your cinemagraph. Now, let's head over to Flixel Cinemagraph Pro and create a cinemagraph together. Open the app from your dock. Import your video by either dragging and dropping it in the welcome menu or browse through your files. You can use up to 10 seconds of the video you imported for your cinemagraph. Make sure to save your cinemagraph document by going to File, Save As. This way, you can save your progress and return to editing your cinemagraph at a later point if you wish to do so. To get started, head over to the timeline, which is just below your cinemagraph. This is the area where you will select the video portion and still image for your cinemagraph. The white frame, which is the trimmer, allows you to select the section and length of footage that you would like to use for your cinemagraph. Drag the handles to select the desired portion. Let's use these two seconds because they contain the motion that can be perfectly looped, which is Aaron sipping on his tea. Use the purple selector, which is the still image selector, to pick the still image from the footage. A good still component of any cinemagraph freezes movement mid-motion. Here, we will freeze Cassandra mid-pour. Masking is a magical process in Cinemagraph Pro. It simply brushes away the still image and reveals the video underneath. Select the brush option above your cinemagraph and adjust the size of the brush so that you can mask the area as cleanly as possible. Go ahead and mask over the demo document. Paint over all of Aaron with a larger brush tool to show him endlessly sipping his tea. While Cassandra is in the middle of pouring tea into her cup, you can now see how photo and video blend together seamlessly in still footage. If you make a mistake, you can use the eraser tool to erase anything you have masked. The same options available to the brush tool are also available to the eraser tool. 
The menu to the right contains a series of tabs that will help you edit the behavior and look of your cinemagraph. In this tutorial, we are only going to focus on a few of the editing options. To determine the behavior of your motion, select the first tab, which is the loop tab. You can either bounce or repeat the motion, then edit the speed and delay of it as well. A repeat loop means that the motion will play from the start point to the end point, then will replay again from the start point. A bounce loop means that the motion will play from the start point to the end point, then from the end point back to the start point. In this cinemagraph, you will bounce the loop so that it looks like Aaron is continuously sipping on his tea. Let's skip over to the fourth tab, which is the crop tab. Here, you can transform your cinemagraph with different options, including flip, crop, and rotate. Finally, let's add a little style to your cinemagraph. Click on the icon above the brush and eraser tools. This brings you to the presets menu. Presets are a series of video filters that you can use as a quick fix to make your cinemagraph truly your own. When you're happy with your cinemagraph, it's time to share it. Click the export button to create a cinemagraph that can be shared across your social media accounts. Select MP4 as the file format and the number of times your cinemagraph will loop, which will determine the length of the file. Hit next to save your cinemagraph video file. Within seconds, your cinemagraph is ready to be shared. Don't forget to upload your cinemagraph to your Flixel.com gallery using the upload button in Cinemagraph Pro. Your Flixel gallery is the best way to display your cinemagraphs on the web because they will loop infinitely. If you want Flixel to see your cinemagraphs and possibly feature them, set your cinemagraphs to public. We love to see and feature stunning living photos across all of our social media channels. We also feature them in our online galleries, which are viewed by millions every single month. And just like that, you have created your very first cinemagraph. Congratulations! Feel free to use the demo document as many times as you would like so that you can perfect everything that you have learned in this tutorial, including the timeline, looping, cropping, and presets. When you are confident with those concepts and ready to learn more, head over to the intermediate video in this tutorial series, where I will show you how to fine tune your editing skills on more precise and subtle motions in cinemagraphs. If you have any questions or want to know what else is going on in the world of cinemagraphs, Feel free to connect with Flixel on our social media channels, where we share the latest tips, tricks, and news. Until next time, 